Well, it looks like the explosion blew out all the windows on the southeast corner of the 10th floor. Isn't that where the OR is located? Why are you so focused on that particular OR? What the hell is going on? Excuse me, I asked you a question. Oh, come on, come on. What? Patrick is in there. I want to know exactly where he is. This is Dr. Drake. What can you tell me? Nothing beyond the obvious. There was an explosion. Point of origin. It sounded like OR2 somewhere near there. Did my team make it out? I'm going to look for survivors and I'll let you know after. Wait, don't hang up. Break! Wait, that was my husband? That was Dr. Drake? Yes, ma'am. Where is he? He's on the 10th floor. All right, enough of the endless chatter. You need to initiate action. I've got classified material in that hospital. I won't open the doors until my superior signs. Oh, off. screw your superiors. My wife is in there. You, you don't, don't want to insert doors, yourself in this situation, Mr. Jax. Well, given a choice, you'd be right. But I'm already in it, and so is my wife. Now, I'm going in there to get her. If you want to arrest me, you can do it when I'm done. Um, I understand there's, like, a lot of drama going on right now, but Emma needs to see a doctor. I need to stay here to help with the evacuation, so can you and Johnny please take her to Mercy for me? Robin, your, your baby is sick. And her father is stuck in a burning building with a lot of people who need to get out of it, okay? Just trust me, she's... She's better off with you, so just just go to the hospital, and Patrick and I will meet you there as soon as we can, all right? Thank God Emma finally settled down. Not a moment too soon. Who would think such a little thing could make so much damn noise? Motherhood, I could never do it. Sure you could. No, you don't understand. I don't have a maternal bone in my body, and frankly, I don't have the burning desire to learn how to take care of a baby. Don't know what was wrong with Robin dumping Emma on me when she doesn't feel good. I think you're doing just fine. You're just saying that so I don't freak out. I really wish Spinelli was here. No offense to you because I owe you big time for helping out, but things just go differently when Spinelli's around. How's that? He's so sweet and gentle. Talk about brilliant. Spinelli knows everything about each little subject. In child care, he probably knows a million obscure facts just because he memorized them to pass an afternoon. All right. Maxie, if it makes you feel better, give Spinelli a call. Tell him we're headed to Mercy and to meet us sir. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That would be way too selfish of me to drag Spinelli out in the middle of a blizzard when he can't even really do anything. I lean on him too much as it is. Something tells me Spinelli won't mind. What about you? Don't you want to call Lulu? No. That was a definite statement. I acted like an ass, Maxie, walking out on Lulu the way I did. I've been keeping something from her. Something huge. It could change everything. I don't know. Something tells me I should just let the thing die a slow, natural death, you know? Excuse me. Um, we need to see a doctor immediately. This baby is sick. Take a seat. I'll get to you as soon as possible. Uh, that's, that's unacceptable. My cousin has a fever. A lot of sick people are here tonight. General Hospital is closed and we caught the overflow. You don't seem to understand. So I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt since you are on overflow and I don't want to make your night any worse. My name's John Zakar. Perhaps you heard of my family? Yes, sir. <clears throat> and I'd also assume that uh, you know we're accustomed to getting what we want when we want it. Yes, sir. So when I say that if you don't get this child medical attention immediately, I'm going to take it personally, you do realize also that we're going to have a situation on our hands? Follow me. I'll get you settled in a room. How long has she been feverish? I don't know, four hours maybe? Uh, has she been outside? Well, the car broke down and she was in the snow for a little while. I'm not sure how long. Look, we tried to keep her warm, okay? All right. I'm going to run a full battery of tests and I'm going to prescribe an antibiotic to fight whatever's causing the fever. There you go, sweetheart. All right, wait here. See that? Did you see how he was judging me? Uh, who cares with some doctor you're never going to see again, thanks. I do. Look, I don't mind being judged on my own crap, but I am not Emma's mother. I shouldn't be the one here groping for answers. 
Robin wanted Emma more than anything in this world. And now she can't even be bothered to take her to the hospital? If something happens to that little girl, she will never forgive herself. And at this point, I don't think I would either. I think maybe I owe you an apology. For what? Coming off on the nurse the way I did. Throwing around the various a car name I claim to hate. And for what it's worth, I guess it was just a reflex. Total hypocrisy. Please, no apology is needed. I thought it was awesome. If you hadn't stepped in, I would have started screaming my head off about my personal friend Jason Morgan and broken kneecaps. I don't think that's politically correct, but... When a child you love is sick, you don't want to just be polite and get the brush off from a nurse. So any time you want to terrorize someone on behalf of me or Emma, please, you're welcome. <laughs> it's very generous of you. I know, I'm just that kind of person. <laughs> um, how is she? I'm sorry. Emma has pneumonia. She's in critical condition. 